Hey, hey, hey. He will tell y'all the true meaning of wealth. Because people got it messed up. People think wealth is when you can go out and buy whatever it is that you want. And show it and flaunt it and stuff like that. That's not the true meaning of wealth. The true meaning of wealth is being able to know that you can provide for somebody. And whatever it was you provided back can be replaced instantly. Because God has given you everything that you needed to make it work. There shouldn't be a hungry mouth on this planet. There shouldn't be a penniless pocket. If we all sat down and did that, there'll be no reason to fight because nobody would be able to say, hey, he has better than me or she has better than me or they look better than me. And because people would be okay with understanding that whatever they give up or whatever they lose by giving, it can be instantly replaced because you have the wealth to be able to do it. That's why you have poor people who don't mind being poor. They are so wealthy that if they lose something, they know it's going to be returned to them tenfold. That's God's word. That is the meaning of wealth. That is the meaning of being rich. Who can you help? Who can you uplift? Who can you motivate? Who can you take these funds and help that needs your help? And not worry about whether you get it back or not because I promised you that you would get it back. That is the true meaning of wealth. Not flashing stuff around. Not flashing stuff around. Not, not the big chains, not, not any of that. It's about how many people can you help? Knowing if you help these people, God will continue to help you and you'll never be without. You will never be without because God always provides the way. Always provides the way. You ever wonder how you worked yourself out of a situation and you didn't know how you got into it and you don't know how to get out of it and all of a sudden it just, you out of it. No scratches, no scars, you out of that situation. God did that for you. He blesses us every day, every night. He wakes us up. We don't know if we're going to die the next day, wake up the next morning. But what we do know is, in between those times, we choose how our emotions are. You decide whether or not you want to deal with something a certain way. Right? You don't have to be upset when something happens. You'd be like Elsa and let it go. Is that what you want to do? You don't have to hold on to it. But we choose to hold on to those things. Until the world sits back and realizes that none of this is actually supposed to be. And the best way to fix it is to love each other and to help each other regardless of what walk or denomination you come from. We will forever be stuck. We'll forever be stuck. Well, y'all will anyway. Y'all will be stuck. They ain't gonna be stuck. I ain't stuck no more. I got unstuck. Unstuck. But that was just something I want to let y'all know. Um, I love y'all. Y'all be safe out there. Uh, P.E. A-C-E. Peace.